Hey there, everyone. Welcome to GMB Gorilla. My name is Rody, and this is Ask the Gorilla. So today, I'm going to teach you how to change the order delivery button on Google My Business, now known as Google Business Profile. So let's get started. This should be a quick one. So first, as always, you're going to want to make sure that you're logged into business.google.com so you can see the Google Business Profile Manager, otherwise known as the dashboard, right? You'll start at the home page here. Today, we're looking at churn, soft serve, and coffee. You know this is one of my favorites. You can tell I like ice cream. So we're going to go down here on the left-hand side below menu to where it says food ordering. Now, if you're not seeing food ordering here, this is super important. It's because your category is incorrect. You will get this food ordering item here on the side if your category reflects a category that Google believes uh, needs food ordering. So essentially a restaurant or any other type of food related business, right? So let's click on food ordering. Now, you'll see Manage Online Food Ordering on Google. Now, if you click Set Up Your Order Online button, what does this mean, right? Well, you need to use a third-party app to connect through Google My Business in order to get your order lined up. So your ordering form is going to come through a third-party website, and you use Google My Business to link them to your customers for your business. Now, if you click on the Learn More button, as we've already done here, you can see that it shows you available third-party order options, right? These are the providers that you can use, down to like the more popular ones like, um, like Postmates here and, and Spot On and just a bunch of them, right? So Essentially, we go back from here, and you can go down to the bottom here, and you can say set up a place your order link. Now, when you set up this link, it's going to allow customers to call you or contact you or use some sort of online portal, right? This will function as an online portal to get your order. So we can click add a new link, and then, you, of course, you would copy and paste whatever link is relevant to your store or business. Right, and I'll show you what that looks like when it's all done. So here we're at Churn Soft Serve and Coffee, but if we look at Grubby's Poke and Fish Market, now if you've never had a poke bowl, highly recommend it. Healthy and delicious. Ugh, can't get enough of it. If you look here, Grubby's is using Order Clover in order to allow online orders, right? And then of course the place and order link is a a link directly to the Grubby's store. Now, you can get a little bit more technical with that, placing a link that will lead you directly to an ordering portal, again, like we talked about. But for Grubby's Poke, this is sufficient, right? You can see the provider here. You can see that the button is on after you connect that third party, right? To connect the third party, all you have to do is make sure you sign up through one of these service providers that we have listed here, okay? All right. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for today. If you have any questions or if you need any other information, please feel free to email us. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. These videos will be coming out regularly, and I will see you next time.